under Harden. I am, was. Helicopter pilot, 13. Harden's a friend of mine. I called in a favor. He directed me to you. Look, I know it is a strange request, but I need to get up that mountain to the equipment. There's valuable information up there. Valuable to who? <laughs> well, until I get to the equipment, I can't be certain of anything. Look, I just need a guide. You in good shape. Yeah, I think so. All right, leave in 10. Thank you. You're quiet. I'm sorry about the off-roading. It's not that. What is it? I'm fine. No. I'm sorry. I promised myself I wouldn't let it bother me. It's okay. What's, what's going on? My family is nuts. My brother acts like my dad, and my dad acts like a raving lunatic. Hey. I used to have such a normal family. There is no such thing as a normal family. <laughs> well, there's definitely such a thing as a crazy one. Look, for the next couple of days, it is going to be just you and me. No brothers, no dads, just us. Sound good? Sounds good. Good. Daniel? Emily, you're not on Mount Lincoln, are you? Yeah, why? Perception is terrible. There's a lot of interference. Did you get the data I sent you? Uh, I think I got most of it, but I have some more troubling information. What is it? There are cataclysmic reports coming in from all over the globe. I mean, yesterday I saw reports of, of tsunamis off the coast of uh, Indonesia, while Japan was rocked by an 8.4. I mean, there were devastating tremors from the Middle East across Europe. What are you talking about? Something's happening. It's global. Any commonalities? I checked the lab satellite imaging, and there are strains of heat signatures reaching across the planet. Origination? Ascension. Okay, do you have any idea what any of this means? Well, I, I don't... You're breaking up. Emily! Daniel! Emily! Daniel! have to forgive me. I'm just not following you. It's, it's all significant. Something's happening. Something huge. What? Just what do you think it is? It, it, it's the thrashing. It's, it's, it's some kind of awakening. It's like a life force breathing against itself. I'm very concerned. William, now you and I go back a long way, right? We certainly lived here long enough to survive the occasional rumble. I mean, nothing's changed. But it has, Sheriff. The signs are everywhere. It's, it's all across the globe. Yeah, it's all part of the natural progression of things. It has been since Adana Man. No, not this time, Sheriff. The myths are clear. From the depths of obscurity ascends a creature with one purpose and one purpose only. Well, what's that? To destroy civilization. Well, what about Thomas? What about Grace? What about them? I'm talking about everyone. Well, I'm not. I'm talking about your family. I'm talking about your kids. With all due respect, Sheriff, you don't understand. <sighs> William, listen to me. Have you listen to me good? Get help. Take your medication. Do whatever it is you have to do to cope with whatever you're going through. You do it. You do it, or so help me, I'll see to it that somebody does it for you.
this really the best way? It's the only way. Right. Careful getting too close to the ground. CO2 is leaking out everywhere. Someone told me it might be a sign the mountains waking up. What do you think about that? Could be. Yeah, it could be. We're getting close. It's a little bit further. What did you say you worked for again? I didn't. This isn't a bad idea. Relax. The safest place to be is on the mountain. My dad told me during the massive quake in 72 that half the buildings in Ascension were ruined, but nothing happened to the mountain structures. Good, because I want tonight to be perfect. What? Huh? Uh, nothing. What are you talking about? I just want us to have a perfect weekend together. It has been way too long. And... You know, we're away from your friends. Hey. <laughs> Sarah and Evelyn are my best friends. They're like family. Uh, you're a non-crazy family? Hey, Grace, I, I, I didn't... Uh, I know what you meant. I... Look, it's okay for me to say it, but not you. I know. Are you, you're right. Look, that might be unfair, but that's just the way it is. I'm sorry. No talking for ten minutes. Deal. Uh, totally. Good job, Jared. Don't touch anything. Gladly. What branch of the military are you working for again? What? What branch of the military are you working for? You said you worked under Hardin. What is this? Government contracts? Black ops? You wouldn't know it, trust me. Try me. Look, Thomas, the only thing I can tell you is that we've been detecting seismic activity on this mountain for some time. We set up a team to investigate. We lost contact with them. What were you looking for? These are the coordinates. To what? I thought we were looking for this place. No, that's only part of it. What I need is up there. You need to get me up there. It's about a mile from here. It's a rough country. And I'm not going one step further. Thomas! Em! Are you all right? What happened? Yeah, I'm fine. Some boulders just shot out of a rock face I was near, almost like... Where was this? Not far. Who are you? He's a geologist. Okay, look, Thomas, we need to get back to Ascension. This thing is going to blow, and when it does, it's going to take everything with it. All right, fine. Look, my truck's not far from me. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Thomas... I need you to guide me up that hill. Look, if she says it's time to clear up, then that's what's happening. Fine. Tell me how to get there. Experienced hikers and climbers have tumbled that area. You're never gonna make it. Can't this wait? No. No, I can't. At this direction, a half mile, you're reaching that pass. You make it over, you'll be in the vicinity. Good luck. Go on, take it down.
This is it. It's here. It's here. I'm not. So, this is the spot? Yep. I used to come here a lot when I was growing up. Yeah, you said that. It means something to you, doesn't it? Well, minus the rain. <laughs> yeah, it does. You know, we've been dating for, for what, four years now? Yep. And we have known each other since we were kids? The second grade. Right, when I asked you to be my girlfriend, and you kicked me in the knee. Ah. Like that? Yeah, like that. <laughs> I can't imagine a life without you in it. Me neither. What? Grace Walsh. in there before. Was that there before? worse than I thought, much worse. I know, I got all that from before. I'm closing down the mountain to the general public. That's a good start, but it's not nearly good enough. I need you to evacuate the county. Excuse me? Between the readings we've gathered up there and the ground temperature increasing, you know as well as I do, this is way outside the ordinary. Well, out of the ordinary, sure, but come on, evacuate? There are fissures opening up all over the mountain. Emily, when you lump it all together like this, I know how it sounds. But all this can be explained. Uncle Matt! In 1984... This is not 84! She's right, Sheriff. The whole area is unsafe. Soil we found up there was littered with hot pumice and ash. Material Mount Lincoln is known to have interlaid deep within its soil. Which means it is being forced up from underground. Emily... Days! Days! Before Mount St. Helens blew, seismic activity was half of what we're recording right now. Ground temperatures were lower and there were no gaseous emissions. So what do you suggest? Get everyone out, at least 10 to 20 miles away. 20 miles? Give us a window to see what Mount Lincoln has in store. And if nothing happens, what then? Then at least we've taken precautions. But if it does blow, and I think it will, you'll have saved hundreds of All right, I'll make the call. Thank you, thank you. But I truly hope that you are wrong about this. Me too. What the hell was that? 
Agent Murray, can you hear me? I've salvaged a flash drive from the remains of Site 14. The information on the drive is correct. The team discovered the epicenter of the entity. And we are running out of time. We're facing a singularity event. I repeat, we are facing a singularity event. something no stop I, I just I thought I heard what the hell is that I, I, I don't know I where, where, where's that smoke coming from it must be something that that thing pushed up from under the ground it, it's huge I don't know it looked like it just pushed it up I you think it's inside Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. huh what Stay close. I don't want to be here anymore. I know, I know, I know you don't. Hey, I am not gonna let anything happen to you. But the only way that we are gonna get out of this is if we make it down and we stay calm, okay? Okay, okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay. Let's just let's get out oh. of here. Yeah. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. We have to evacuate the town. I'm hereby ordering you to evacuate to at least 20 miles outside of the central. Now, I know that we've had, uh, we've had drills like this before. We've had some trembles and rumblers, but this one, although it uh, is not immediate, it is imminent, and we're gonna ask you to leave town. So I want you to go home right now, get your kids, your valuables, your pets, get in the car, and get out of town as soon as possible. <laughs> Thomas, Thomas, it's happening. Dad, 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 now's not the time, look. We gotta leave. All right. They're evacuating the town. So get to the truck. We're leaving. What about Grace? We're gonna get her at the house. She's not there. She's already gone. She's gone up the mountain. Now? Why would she do that? Because she has no idea all this is going on. All right. I, I gotta go up and get her. Well, she could be anywhere. No, she'll be at Hudson Clearings, where she's been going since she was a kid. What can we call her? There's no reception. All right, yeah, listen to me. This is important, all right? I need you to go down to Olympia. All right, go to Aunt Evelyn's house. We wait there until we get back. Thomas. Okay. No, Dad, Dad, this is not for discussion. I'm going to go with you. What? No. I'm going to go with you. You sure? Yeah. All right. Get your gear. Thomas. I want you to take this. Now, Dad. You, 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 your mother gave this to me years ago. I, I, you should it's keep a it. sacred piece from the Tayula tribe. I want you to take it. Dad, you keep it. Come on. Thomas, please. Just clear it for me. All right. All right. Olympia. Aunt Evelyn's. Please. All right. All right. 